back to the channel. Thanks so much for being here again this week. So we are going to be making some pumpkin spice cookies. Uh, they are going to be healthy. They are going to be super easy to whip up and you are going to be able to make these cookies in no time at all. So that's how we roll. You know I only like to use uh, staple ingredients that pretty much everybody has and I also always say substitute for whatever you have. Don't run out to like five grocery stores to buy what you need. Use what you have. I'm sure you can find a substitute and it will still be fine. These recipes are so simple that you could use other things and it's not going to interfere with the overall recipe and texture of the cookie. I'm sure it's going to be okay. Let me know if you substitute things as well. So like in the recipe, I'm using brown rice flour, but I will explain to you later during the recipe as I walk you through it that I usually use oat flour that I make at home, but this time I had brown rice flour. I wanted to use it up. I use it in a lot of things actually, and I feel like it's good in pretty much everything. So if you have brown rice flour, go for that. And if you have other flours, that's perfectly fine. Use what you got. So we are feeling fall-ish vibes and wanting that pumpkin spice in a lot of things. And you know, I'm having pumpkin spice coffee and things like that. So I am starting to do more baked goods with pumpkin spice because the kids really like it. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So I will take you guys along and that way you can see how quick and easy this recipe actually is. Okay guys, so my daughter asked me to create a pumpkin spice cookie and we are gonna use very simple ingredients of course. So here's what you're gonna need. Some baking powder, baking soda, you're gonna need some cinnamon and of course pumpkin spice. And then the star of the show, the pumpkin puree, which make sure it's pumpkin puree and not pumpkin pie filling because that's just loaded with sugar and you don't want that. You just want the pure pumpkin. And then I found this pure maple sugar at HomeSense and it was like $6.99 for this bag and I thought it's something different. Give it that fall vibe with the maple, I don't know. The Canadian in me anything that says maple I'm like yeah let's try it so anyway uh, we're gonna try this but you can use any sugar that you have on hand um, that will work perfectly and then I have some brown rice flour that I want to use up so that's what we're gonna use in this recipe I really you know I love brown rice flour because I can use it in pretty much anything and it will work out perfectly um, now normally if I don't use brown rice flour then I just grind up my own oats and I make my own oat flour um, I know a lot of people say it's a little bit heavy, but I love it and it works really, really well with me. Um, and I have the, I guess it's like the container for the Vitamix that actually makes it really like a fine flour. So maybe that's what makes the difference. Like I can actually make flour in my Vitamix easily. It doesn't get all gummy and hot. So yeah, um, if it's not the brown rice, then it's going to be the oat flour that I use for these cookies. But again, whatever you have on hand, use it up because um, we don't want to be wasteful. So yeah, let's see how this works. So my recipe also calls for any plant-based milk that you have. I just happen to have this almond and it's original and it's unsweetened. So that's what I'm going to be using in this recipe. But again, use whatever you have on hand, um, whatever is available to you. So I'm going to go ahead and add the milk first and I'm going to be doing the wet ingredients so that's two-thirds of plant-based milk and then I'm also going to add half a cup of the pumpkin puree Now I'm going to add the two-thirds cups of the sugar and again use whatever sugar you prefer. I'm using the maple sugar and I'm probably adding in a bit more than I wanted to but because I want the kids to enjoy it and you know I want them to actually um, eat a bunch of these cookies and I mean they're still really healthy despite the fact that I'm using a bit more sugar than I wanted to so yeah I mean you have to worry about who's eating them as well like if I was going to be having them by myself I would decrease the sugar but I know it's not going to be just me 
So I have to be mindful of who else is eating it and I want to make it as appetizing as possible for everybody. I also forgot to note that we are going to be setting the oven at 350 so that we can be baking our cookies. So now I'm going to add the flour and I'm going to be adding two and one thirds of a cup of the flour. And again, use whatever flour you have on hand. So now I'm adding in one teaspoon of baking soda. and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder is what's going in next. So I like to use a fork so that I can get all the clumps out if there's any in my flour, which there isn't. This is like a super fine brown rice flour, but still I just like to use the fork to combine everything really nicely. And then I'm also gonna add in the spices. So I'm going to add the pumpkin pie spice and you know it really depends on how strong of the flavor you like so just be mindful of that and then also the cinnamon we're going to be adding the cinnamon as well so I'm going to be adding one teaspoon of the cinnamon and let's see if I feel like that's enough and if not we'll add more. And then one of a half teaspoon of the pumpkin pie spice. And then let's just mix it up and see. Um, like I said, it really depends on how strong you do like your pumpkin spice. I may actually add another half of a teaspoon just because I feel like I really want that pumpkin spice to come through. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And I hope that it's not too strong, but I'll let you guys know once they're cooked up what they uh, taste like and we'll go from there. Okay guys, super simple. Add the wet ingredients into the dry, give it a little mix. Do not over mix it though, and then you can start shaping your cookies. So once everything is combined, it kind of gets fluffy and that's the kind of texture that I got. And then it's super easy to just create a little ball. I like to roll it in my hand a little bit and then I put it on a piece of parchment. Or if you have the reusable um, parchment paper or pads, th those are wonderful. So you can use those as well. And then, so I like to flatten mine out. You don't have to, you can just leave it as is, but I do flatten them out. And then you'll see how big the cookies are. I don't like to make them too large. So I did get 18 cookies out of this batter in case you're wondering. This is optional, but if you wanted to sprinkle some of the maple sugar or whatever sugar you're using on top, you can go ahead and do that. These are kind of like a snickerdoodle type of cookie. I opted not to because I already added more sugar than I was comfortable with in the cookie and they turned out fine but if you wanted to that is an option that you could do. You can also add a glaze if you wanted to like a maple sugar glaze. You can add icing to them really. You can do whatever you want to jazz them up but I just like them plain but these are just some options for you.
took about 10 minutes. It really depends on the size of cookie and just keep that in mind. While they're baking though, I am gonna have a fall type coffee. And this is a pumpkin spice that we found at HomeSense. So I just have the reusable pods. So I put the coffee in there and then I enjoy my coffee. So I'm gonna be enjoying this alongside with my yummy cookies and it's a nice little treat and a very comforting thing to have on a fall day. So this is how it turned out. They are kind of like a snicker doodle as you can see. So if you put the added sugar on top, they would be really pretty and glistening right now, but they're not and they still taste amazing. Um, I just can't bear to add the extra sugar. So this is how I'm going to enjoy them. And again, you can jazz them up however you like, even put some Halloween sprinkles on top if you wanted to for the kids, but we like them just like this. So thanks so much for being here this week, guys. And thanks so much for all the support and love on the channel. so much for being here guys i really appreciate it and if you haven't already please consider subscribing to the channel and that way you don't miss any upcoming content so here on this channel you're going to find a lot of health and wellness related videos you're going to find quick and easy recipes if you're interested in something like that then i suggest that you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell that way every time i put up a video you will get notified that i have done so if not you may miss it so yeah thanks again for being here everyone much love, stay healthy everyone, and I hope you enjoy the recipe.